Josh, a 1-1 one -one draw here away at Eastbourne. A really good point though at the end of the day. Um, yeah, that's one way to look at it. It's, one's better than nothing, but I think um, on the overall analysis of the, analysis of the game, we should have come away with three in my opinion. I think um, that was the kind of tail of the half, you know, the first half kind of went against us. I mean, you had a shot that hit the yeah. post. Uh, we had some chances that we made ourselves, but then we could have been a little bit further behind if we were a little bit unlucky. But second half, we're all over them. We were the better team. And, and like you say, we could have won it. So as a footballer, what is that like to play in? You know, a frantic game, end to end, two different halves. Uh, you know, are you disappointed? Are you, are you, um, do you, will you look back it, at it? It's frustrating, but that is football. However, I think being a team that we are, um, we're too good to have two different halves. Um, how we played in the second half is how we basically have started the last three or four games um, fast, but we allowed them to get too comfortable in the first half. Um, and I don't think that is acceptable, especially when we're trying to push for the playoffs. But like you said, the point is better than nothing. Um, and it's something to build on. If we can start the next game, how we finish this one, then I think whoever we play next will really be um, on the back end of something. Take the first half out of it. Second half performance was really good. If we play like that for the 90, surely we, we're, pro we're probably winning most games. I think when we, if and when we play like we did in the second half, um, we're the best team in the league. Um, I don't think it's debatable. I think teams have a really hard time against us. Um, but I think for us, it's just um, doing that over the course of the 90, learning from the mistakes that we might have made in this game, like um, adapting to how they were playing quicker, um, not waiting for to go a goal down before we react. Um, so I think there's a lot that we need to learn going forward still, um, but we will learn and we'll, we will be better. You're a, a seasoned pro, you've spent your career playing football. What is it like? You know, we, we hear the phrase, uh, you know, leggy, and sometimes, you know, the, the long journey can take it out of you. Do you feel that p played a part today or is that a thing even? It is a thing, but um, it's your job at the end of the day, so there's no excuses. Um, we're professional footballers. If you feel leggy, then when we're on a coach or when we're travelling, you do whatever in order to prepare yourself. That's that's what we're paid to do. That's what we we should be doing. Um, so I don't think it's using it as an excuse. Um, I think we just need to maybe prepare better, whether it's me, the team, whoever, on these long journeys. But um, yeah, we'll just get on with it. Yourself, I thought you played really well today. Like the whole lads did in the second half, came really close to scoring. You know that that shot that really went plumb off the yeah, post. Yeah, yeah. You know, are you thinking sometimes it's it's not going to be your day? But also as as well as your job as that lone lone striker, how difficult is that in, in games like today? Um, it can be difficult. It can be frustrating, especially because we're a very very footballing team. So um, sometimes we try and overplay when there's potentially a chance to put the ball in behind and that's where it comes down to game management and maybe someone like myself who's been in the game a long time I will recognise those moments but we've got a young set of players that might not recognise that um, but for me um, it's frustrating because it's probably the longest time I ever scored like, I don't know how long it's been um, but as long as a team's not losing um, that's the most important thing Next up, chipping them on Tuesday is going to be another difficult one isn't it? Yep, I'm definitely scoring in that game <laughs> We'll leave it at that, thanks Josh <laughs> Thank you